Meet Arnold. He's watched too many pseudo-scientific videos on YouTube. And today, he decided to test whether water can have memory. Well, it's unlikely to be worse than Arnold's. <coughs> Homeopaths believe that water remembers medicines, and if a medicine is dissolved in water, it retains its healing properties. In reality, this is not true. It's like diluting gasoline with water and trying to fill up a car with it. It won't work. God, I hope everything will be okay with the snake. Masaru Emoto claimed that if you say nice words to water, it produces beautiful snowflakes. But if you say bad words, it produces ugly ones. It seems that Arnold was told a lot of bad words as a child. Some people believe that water can remember words, music, and information. But this is impossible, as water does not have a permanent structure like the solid silicon crystals used to make memory devices. Scientists conducted an experiment and found that the structure of water lasts only a picosecond, which is incredibly short. Therefore, water cannot have memory, and perhaps that is for the best. So Arnold, water has no memory. You can exhale. The toilet tank won't tell anyone what you are doing in the bathroom. Knock, knock, Arnold. Can I come in? Ooh, I see you've decided to create a real tropical paradise for yourself. Don't you think the palm tree from the living room is a bit much? All right, here's some more food, drinks, and new friends. Rubber duckies. Have fun, Arnold. How about some beneficial bubbles? Hydromassage can mimic physical exercise such as squats, pull-ups, and push-ups. When vibrating, the muscle fibers contract, thereby increasing in volume. And in just 30 days, they'll reach their maximum strength and endurance level. You, Arnold, oh, lady. Easy one will definitely like it. Arnold, this is the first time I've seen you so happy. I suggest we continue the experiment. I'm gonna lock you in the bath for 30 days, but on one condition. I'm turning off the water and leaving you just the food you have right now. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have eaten so much. If you don't get out of the bath for 30 days, apart from bacterial skin infections and your nails peeling, you'll have two options. Either complete dehydration and the loss of 1.3 gallons of water, or hyperhydration, when your body gets much more water than necessary, and which leads to swelling of the brain. Arnold, you're consuming food and water at an alarming rate. Surprisingly, due to your prolonged immersion in water, your skin will become dry and cracked, and it'll become really easy to get a skin infection in such dirty old water. Just one thing, Arnold, please, don't look at your hand. To spend 30 30 days in a bath sipping cocktails, your skin needs to be more like a seal's. After all, they have 20% more subcutaneous fat than humans, which provides excellent waterproofing and protection. But now as a carrier of intestinal parasites dangerous for humans, you're unlikely to be welcome to such a party. Arnold, you really don't resemble a seal at all and are completely unsuited for aquatic life. But on the other hand, your bathroom is now a paradise for plants. Your palm tree has bloomed. Mushrooms are growing on the ceiling and it seems that somehow wheat has sprouted from your toilet. You have nothing to eat or drink. No, please, Arnold, don't tell me you're planning to drink that water. It's full of gunk and microbes in your hair. Dirty water is the main cause of all diseases in the world. Due to the consumption of dirty water, 3.4 million people die worldwide each year. That's almost three times more than from car accidents and 20% more than from obesity. Good that you have drinking water. What? Ecoactivists have taken all your plastic bottles. Now you have no water. But I see you're thirsty. Just don't drink from the river. 
don't you see the signs? Oh, Arnie, you're gonna regret this. One drop from the Ganges River contains 3.5 million E. coli bacteria, which is 110 times the norm. Despite this, 40% of the population of India, half a billion people, drink from the Ganges. And, of course, there are other harmful elements. Arnie, where are you? Oh, okay, I get it. Mild diarrhea, this is just the beginning. It's gonna get stronger and stronger. And that's already a problem. You're gonna have to invest. Yet, yeah, you could have simply purified the river water. You can purify river water through fabric. It will filter out sand and dirt. Boiling will help get rid of 99% of harmful microorganisms. And the most effective method is chemical purification. For example, using chlorine tablets. What do you think such water tastes like? Been watching a lot of Discovery, have you? Indeed, when there's nothing to drink, travelers do resort to urine. But in your case, it's not possible due to dehydration and a lack of strength. Oh, Arnold, you're back! Kind people helped you out. How tasty the water is! But don't let your guard down. There's a thin line between love and hate. The Black Sea is, in fact, also a large bathtub, just the size of 340,000 cubic miles. It would take about 243 million years to fill it up. The sudden movement of tectonic plates causes waves. The seabed rises several hundred meters, thereby creating the deadly tsunami waves. We're now located in Portugal. The highest waves in the world are formed here. It's like a cheetah, but in the world of waves, because its speed has already reached 60 miles per hour. One Hawaiian surfer caught a 79-foot wave here. For this, he got into the Guinness Book of Records. Have you ever heard of a killer wave? These are single waves around 80 to 100 feet high, which can't be seen even from a ship. They can appear suddenly and imperceptibly. Therefore, there's very little time to save a ship's crew. Killer waves can sink a ship in just one hit. Even Conor McGregor would envy such a knockout. The largest wave on record was formed in 1958 in the Lituya Bay in Alaska. The wave reached 100 feet in height and covered the mountains approaching the bay. As a result, all vegetation up to an altitude of 1,700 feet above sea level was destroyed. And this is the height of five and a half Statues of Liberty. On a shore, nature itself will hint at the approach of a tsunami. Animals feel the disaster coming and begin to rush somewhere in a hurry or behave strangely. Birds form flocks and fly away. If on land, get in a car. On a bike, run. Ask King Kong to give you a lift at the very least. It's advised to get to a height of 120 <gasps> feet above sea level. Arnold, you better get to the top floor of the Empire State Building. The skyscraper's height is 102 floors, or 922 feet. The elevator goes up at a speed of 700 feet per minute, so you definitely have time. Oh, well, that's also possible. Don't shout underwater, otherwise you'll choke. Keep yourself conscious by any means. Arnold, hide! These are the neighbors from below. You're drowning them. Well, that's it. I've got to go. And you'll figure everything out by yourself. <gasps> Ooh, Arnold. Looks like someone had some fun last night. And something tells me your brain is probably just as much of a mess as this room. You really don't remember anything at all. Arnold, could it really be? Last night, did you finally become a real man? Congratulations, Arnold. This is your first alcohol intoxication. And these are the first unpleasant consequences of a new acquaintance. Arnold, how about a toast to your new friend? Ah, well, I see, of course. If you gotta, you gotta. Oh, Arnold, did you really want to make a lifelong reminder of this event? At least you'll have something to tell your friends about later. As you can see, the consequences of alcohol intoxication don't just damage your health. They damage your bank account, too. Oh, 
Oh, you were unmatched in generosity last night, Arnold. You were the king of the party. Hmm. Now, where's your tooth? Anything ring a bell? Nothing? No? Arnold, you didn't know this, but drinking too much leads to unnecessary aggression. And you certainly paid a price for that. Ooh, you found a solution. Time to take aspirin. Oh, wait, no. You forgot to restock your first aid kit. But really, Arnold, all these troubles are just in your head. Mineral water is a miraculous thing. You're dehydrated. Just need to replenish the missing water from your body. What's with the jacuzzi? I totally understand if you want to quit drinking after last night, but not water. You didn't think it'd be that easy to escape your hangover, did you? Someone call Spielberg. We have a plot for a new Jaws. What is it, Arnold? Are you Hello, calling an ambulance? Yeah. Ah, you decided to recharge your strength with delicious pizza. But you forgot about one thing. Booze breath. These are the decay products of ethanol that appear in the body after the liver has taken over its processing. One of them, acetic acid, has a particularly nasty smell. Hey Arnold, you sure you still want to sleep after eating? Sadly, you can forget about sleep. Cerebellar functions are impaired after alcohol intake. As soon as you close your eyes, the cerebellum ceases to have enough data for orientation in space and starts transmitting broken data to the cerebral cortex. Say hello to bed spins. Poor Arnold. It's a pity just to look at you. Let me give you one piece of advice. Right now, a cup of hot tea will save you. Wrap yourself in a warm blanket and fall asleep so soundly that no prince can possibly wake you up with his kiss. Arnold, I told you it would help. Well, I congratulate you on your second birthday. Don't forget, Arnold, behind every mask of joy lies some seriously nasty things. Come on, you did this one to yourself. See you next time, Arnold, when we hope you'll finally have your head screwed on right. Are you in a coma? Looking at you, you'd think you're dead, but you're still alive inside. In a coma, you're unable to respond to external stimuli. Because of this, you'll be the best K-pop fan and you'll be able to listen to the same song on repeat for years. People can be in a coma from a few days to a dozen years. Edward Obara fell into a coma at the age of 16 and spent 42 years this way. According to patients, during a coma, they feel like some kind of matter. They wandered along long and damp corridors, mazes, went through complex oh. mechanisms. The degree of a coma is determined by the Glasgow Coma Scale, where 15 points is clear consciousness and three points is brain death. Arnold, they're gonna turn off the machine. Wake up mm -hmm. and I promise no more experiments on you. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Come on, Arnie, you can do it. You're not gonna make it to the hospital. Your heart could stop. You need an emergency blood transfusion to maintain pressure in your circulatory system. During the Vietnam War, coconut IVs were sometimes used to treat the wounded. Amazingly, coconut water is quite similar to human blood plasma. So what do we have? Cola. Okay, let's get to work. But first, you need to get rid of all the gas. If the gas contained in the drink gets inside your blood vessels, it'll literally tear you apart from the inside. Cola contains sugar, glucose. This is a perfect source of fast energy and allows you to really perk up. It seems to have worked. The cola has taken root in your body. But your appearance has changed just a little, buddy. Even your hair has changed color. But on the other hand, you'll be a most welcome guest at any children's party. With so much caffeine in the cola running through your veins, you only have to sleep once every three days. Now, you have much more time than regular people. After all, even professional athletes drink cola for a quick dose of energy. And you can always get a refill at the nearest supermarket. No, stop, you kamikaze nutball. Just one single Mentos could turn you into a surface-to-air missile. Don't worry, it won't ruin your day. Cola even helps combat mild depression. But... 
To be honest, Arnold, koi in your blood is actually deadly. Your eyes, kidneys, nerves, and heart suffer the most. Yeah, looks like koa's not an option.